Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rufo Chifu, the founder CEO of HRN Systems Limited. In the past decade, I have been helping a lot of people get jobs because that's what my company does. And believe me, I've been on both of the sides. That's when I was looking for a job and now that I'm actually hiring for jobs. And if you just left school and you're in a job market and you are looking at hitting that next big job, then this video is for you. So stay right there, take a piece of pen and paper and jot down everything I'm about to tell you because although there are a lot of resources online talking about job search and all of this, but what I'm about to tell you today is going to be something special, it's something probably you've never heard. This will apply perfectly in Cameroon because this is where I've lived and worked all through. But if you are anywhere in the world, I am sure if you apply some of these tips, it's going to help you very much in your job search. Today in this video, we are going to look at the Rufus one month job search strategy that's going to make all the employers rushing on you, not then going to rush you. You understand what I'm trying to say? So if you've not been learning those interviews, maybe this video is not a guarantee that you're going to have a job, but I can guarantee you that if you follow this one month job search strategy, you are going to at least learn the interviews. Before we dive into the details, let's first of all look at the old classic approach to job search and then the new method or the new approach to job search, which I call it the entrepreneurial approach. In the old method or the classic approach, you leave school, you update your CV, you go online, probably you start searching for jobs or you go from company to company, dropping your CV, or you just wait for some kind of miracle to happen and you are called up for an interview. That's the old approach. But now in the new approach or the approach I call the entrepreneurial approach, you really don't wait for job offers to be posted. What you do is you actually shortlist the companies you are interested in and then you approach them by looking for the problems that they have and coming with a solution that's coming with your skills and the solution to their problem. Believe me, anybody who is hearing that you have a solution to your problem is going to give you a listening ear. And that's what we are going to be looking at in this video. So don't go away. I'll be right back. Welcome to Business Tips, the place where successful entrepreneurs come to get inspired. If you are new to this channel, please join the family by hitting on the red subscribe button below and also hit on the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. Without wasting much of your time, let's run. Welcome back. Now, if you follow the five steps to my approach to getting a job, I can guarantee you that you are going to land the interviews. And the first thing or number one step is you need to up your game. Now, when I say up your game, what do I actually mean? Upping your game involves two things. The first, you need to add an additional skill to what you already have. That's going to put you ahead of competition and to all the other masses that are looking for the same job that you are looking for. And then the second thing is, you need to add some experience. Now, let me break it down for you so that you can understand. I'll give you my example because when I was looking for a job as an accountant, I took just three months. And the good thing is, all these courses are kind of like free or you just take a very short time to get additional skills. I took three months to actually learn Oracle, that's database and systems, to add to my accounting skills. So that gave me the advantage of anywhere I went to looking for a job. So if you're an accountant or you're a marketer, you can learn editing skills or digital marketing, or you, if, you, if you're looking for a job as a journalist, you can actually learn like editing or video production and add to that. So any employer looking at you will actually know that you know what you're doing and you are going to be ahead of all your peers who are in the same place looking for that job. So take some time, three months, six months, they are online, it's free, it's everywhere. Take some time to add and additional skills to what you've already acquired in school. And then another thing that a lot of employers look at is your job experience. Now, people will say, how do I get experience when I'm not hired? See, if you leave leaving school, you are not a finished product. You need to gain some experience by offering your services free of charge. Take one year, two years, just by serving for free. That's the fastest way you can gain experience. And if you go to any company and tell them, hey, I want to offer my services to you for free, believe me, everybody is going to accept and you're going to have the right experience to kickstart your job career. Now, number two, every job offer needs a different modified CV. I mean, I've just been wondering all through when I read through CVs, I can tell you this, I've been able to review a lot of CVs, you know, in all my career in the past decade. And I see a CV 
which does not even match the job offer. How can you be using the same CV to apply for 50 different jobs? It doesn't work nowadays. For every job offer that you come across, you need to modify your CV to actually suit that job offer. Nobody is going to hire you if a job offer actually states the job description and none of those things in the job description really appear on your CV. I mean, nowadays, who is going to hire you? You are not even going to be shortlisted. Now, when you are modifying your CV to suit a job offer, it's not actually as if you are lying. You are simply just making your CV appealing to the recruitment manager. It is important to do what we call the key phrase or the keywords matching. This means that carefully study the job offer, select the keywords in which the employer is looking at, and then ensure that those keywords appear on your CV, under probably the competence section of your CV. By the time the recruitment manager picks up your CV, they are going to know exactly that you are the best fit for that job. So that goes to say that for every job offer that you come across, you must update your CV to fit that job offer. Point three on this strategy is stop selling your CV and start selling your skills. Now, what do I mean by that? A lot of people just think that by the time they write their CV and it looks good, they're just supposed to land that job. No, 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 that doesn't work that way anymore. You need to actually sell the skills that you have. By trying to identify the problems in the department you want to work in and looking how your skill set can bring a solution to that problem. I'll give you an example on how you can go about it. This is just an example, depending on the field and where you are. If you're an accountant and you want to work for, say, Guinness Cameroon or Orange or MTN Cameroon in the finance department, do your homework by looking at who is the finance director in those companies. What kind of problems can they be having? Are they having issues in AR, accounts payable, general ledger, or whatever in the department? What kind of issues are they having? And do you have the skill set that you can solve that problem? If yes, move up to that company book an appointment with the hiring manager i precise here hiring manager not the recruitment manager a lot of people spend their time selling their skills to the recruitment manager the recruitment manager simply will select your cv shortlist you probably do the first interview and the person who is going to finally make that decision is the hiring manager in this case or in this example i'm trying to give you is the finance director so if you go directly to the finance director and book an appointment and tell them that you are not here to look for a job because there is no job offer out there for their department. But what you are here to do is bring a solution to the problems that they are facing already. And if you were able to do your homework properly to identify what that kind of problem might be and you bring a proper solution to that, believe me, that's already a step ahead of the competition. If he is not hiring immediately, anytime a job opportunity in that area comes up in his department, you'll be the first person that he's going to think about. And that gives you an advantage over every other competitor that's vying in for that same position in that company. Number four, clean your social media accounts. I see a lot of people who are looking for jobs post just whatever they want to post on their social media accounts. But let me tell you this, all employers nowadays or everybody who is trying to hire somebody will profile you on social media before actually hiring you because they want to know the kind of person they are hiring right it's true your social media accounts is your private life but it plays a role in that job you are looking for so your social media account has to represent what you are looking at the kind of job you're looking at you won't just take videos and pictures of you drinking in bars and making noise and then you post them on your social media and you're looking for a job in the bank they'll just the hiring manager is going to say that hey maybe that's a rascal and i might not hire you although that doesn't count 100 percent but your social media account should actually reflect the kind of job you're looking at so you should be careful what you post what you comment, the kind of topics you bring up for discussion on social media, and especially the kind of social media websites that you are in. While looking for a job, I recommend that you spend most of your time on LinkedIn, which is the biggest professional website in the world. And if you want to appear as a professional, that's actually where you should spend most of your time doing things. And that leads me to the fifth point, which is you have to publish articles or videos in the areas in which you are competent in. This point goes hand in hand with the point I just mentioned earlier. 
Understanding how to use professional websites like LinkedIn is going to help you greatly in meeting that employer of your choice. Do a video, write articles in areas that you are competent in and then you post them on your social media account. Just talk about topics in that area related to what you are actually looking for a job in. And believe me you, all the hiring managers, all the recruitment managers are on these professional platforms. And if you do it correctly, you are going to increase your visibility on social media and the possibility that they can stumble on one of your articles or your video and that will greatly increase the chance that you're going to at least be caught up for an interview if you have any questions in anything i just mentioned above then feel free to contact me for more clarification and if you are looking for a job or wanting to move from one job to the other you need any sort of assistance feel very free to contact me because I'll be here to give you all the support you might need. Review your CV, show you how to use LinkedIn, and also assist you for the kind of content you can create to increase your online visibility so that employers can start rushing you. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Hi. My name is Rufu Chifu and you are welcome to HR and Systems Limited. Do you intend to invest in Cameroon or in Africa? Then contact us at HR and Systems Limited for your professional business plan writing, business feasibility studies, investment viability checks and company formation services. My team and I are willing to move from Cameroon to any part of Africa just to set up your business. Call us today, send us an email or visit our website on www.hrnsystems.com for more information. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.